G'day everyone, it's Jonesy and uh, beautiful morning here on the Goldie. Um, contrary to the weather report, it was supposed to be raining and wet today, so make the most of it while we can and um, got the helicopter all back up and running again after yesterday's crash, which everyone probably saw, so we'll see how it goes. I've just got the tape on the, the blades there and I'll just check the tracking first off and uh, make sure that's all okay and then uh, we'll get stuck into it again. So here we go. Tracking looks pretty good. That tracking looks pretty good, so I'm just going to take the tape off of those blades and uh, I'll just stop the video and we'll be ready to go. Righto, so I've just taken that tape off of the blades. Uh, tracking was uh, pretty good, uh, so we'll give it another go. Just restart the timer. I'll just take it a little bit easy with this and just make sure that all the bits and pieces are all working before I go start banging it around too much. Yeah, I was pretty fortunate that the crash I had yesterday just, uh, landed in the grass up over there and um, the damage wasn't too bad. I had to replace the, uh, the main shaft was bent pretty badly and the feathering sharp, uh, the blades obviously uh, went in all sorts of directions and um, one of the skids was broken as well so I replaced that and the, um, the tail boom actually it's, it's slightly slightly bent <coughs> it's, um, it's only very very slightly bent so um, I didn't worry about replacing that this time. I'll, I've got spare ones there, so I'll give it another go. But um, this seems to be flying pretty well, so um, I'll just take it a bit easy today until I get my head and my thumbs back into gear. And I was pretty happy yesterday with where I'd got to with um, doing the flips. So. I might even <clears throat> try uh, on my second or third um, <clears throat> battery. It um, seems to be flying pretty, pretty good. I uh, spent some time yesterday painting uh, the other canopy for of the, uh, the other GT kit that I bought um, which was to replace the tail gear on this one that last time that it failed and I crashed and uh, picked up some fluoro pink uh, paint down at Bunnings of all colours so um, 
I've got a fluoro pink canopy at home, so uh, I might bring that one out next time. It um, should be highly visible, I would imagine. Just a fantastic morning here on the Gold Coast. This morning, it's um, there's just no wind at all, and uh, the sun's coming from behind me there, right on onto the, the side of the heli. And um, I'm glad I did it this red colour because it it actually looks really good when it uh, hits the sun. But uh, I was watching Rob's um, video there last night on. Um, when he was at the hobby store and about the Hobby King helicopters and um, I, uh, I totally, totally understand where you're coming from Rob with that the um, Hobby King um, is like a swear word in uh, hobby shops around here as well um, you just, you don't say that word when you go into the shops here if you're, if you're after any aligned bits or anything for the, uh, the clone helicopters then you know, you you just tell them you've got a an Align helicopter. But um, apart from that tail gear failing, and so far I've had no parts fail on this one at all. But um, you know, your uh, helis, Rob, are actually proof that these things are very reliable, and yeah, it's just great value for money. So I, I totally agree. So uh, good on you for um, biting your tongue. I don't know if I would have done the same thing. I maybe would have stalked the guy outside the shop on the way out or something. <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, it's, you know, I work in IT, so I'm kind of on the internet and stuff all day, so I do a lot of research on online, so um, I was able to, you know, learn about all the, the helicopters and how to build them and everything, you know, online, so, um, Makes it a bit uh, bit easier than going into your hobby shop and someone telling you you need to spend thousands of dollars. So well, there's the timer. So um, seems to be flying great. So uh, we'll bring you into land and that um, blade tracking looks perfect. The uh, look. The, uh, the link that goes up to the uh, the, the rotor, uh, the blade grip, uh, was completely gone from yesterday, so I had to size a new one for that, but it looks like I've got it spot on, so uh, there we go, first flight after the crash, and uh, it all looks good, thanks.